UFC 279 looks completely different now, and in this video I will be describing the new fights happening and what I think about it. We first have to talk about the press conference being cancelled because there were many fights happening backstage, and I think that that played a huge factor into how the card looks right now. Now we have the weigh-ins. At the weigh-ins, we had Kamzat Shemaev coming in massively overweight, and I think that also played a huge factor into what the card looks like right now. So now, let's talk about the fights that are going to be happening. First up, we have Lee Jingling fighting Daniel Rodriguez. These two are oddly similar where they're young and upcoming, and now they're going to be fighting each other at catchweight. I think Lee's the better fighter and had more potential going into his fight, so I think he's going to win this fight. I got Lee Jingling winning his fight by decision. Now we have Kevin Holland versus Kamzat Shemaev. This fight makes way more sense in my opinion, because it's a 5 round fight for Kamzat, and it's a big name fight for Kevin. I feel like Kamzat Shemaev is just going to win this fight, because it's going to be a good test for him at 5 rounds against a decent opponent. I got Kamzat Shemaev winning this fight by decision. And finally, our updated main event for the evening. We have Nate Diaz versus Tony Ferguson. This is a big name fight happening, and it's happening last minute. That's a great fight at the welterweight division. This is Nate's main division versus Tony Ferguson fighting up from lightweight last time. So, that's going to be on the plus side for Nate Diaz. And I think Nate Diaz is going to win this fight. I got Nate Diaz winning this fight, and I got him winning it by decision. So, this is what I think will happen at UFC 279, and I really don't think it's that bad. I mean, you just move around a few fighters and you get a pretty good card. I'm not disappointed at all, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope UFC 279 will live up to the small potential that it has. But, what do you guys think about UFC 279? Do you think this is a bad card? Do you think they should have cancelled it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, I got nothing more to say, and I'll see you guys in the next video.